Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another comic book review and I hope you enjoy. Today is Hashtag Spider-Man Sunday. Not only is it Sunday, but also Happy St. Patrick's Day. Anti-Venom is one of Spider-Man's deadliest foes and one of the most interesting Marvel comic anti-heroes. Anti-Venom first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man issue 569. It all starts with Norman Osborn and some Thunderbolt members sitting in Peter Parker's apartment, waiting for him to return home. Norman Osborn and his Thunderbolt members like Venom, who isn't Eddie Brock but Matt Gargan, and Songbird, ransack his apartment looking for a way to contact Spider-Man. We then see Eddie Brock, he is now cured of his cancer and everyone at the Feast Homeless Shelter is happy for him. Eddie gets invited into Martin Lee's office, and the two discuss this surprising event. Things aren't always so perfect in a Spider-Man comic since we see Norman Osborn, of all people, get a Man of the Year award. After the award, Norman Osborn declares that he is on a mission to kill Spider-Man. Norman goes to the coffee bean, the coffee business his son Harry owns. But it seems like it was just to see if he had any hope that Harry wouldn't be a disappointment anymore, but like always, he leaves making Harry feel like dirt. Harry then snaps and seemingly is starting to resort back to his Green Goblin ways. The Thunderbolts and Osborn security team are looking all over the city for Peter Parker and Spider-Man. But Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, sneaks into Osborn Manor. Spider-Man then finds Norman Osborn and Norman tells him that is the law. He orders for Spider-Man to be brought in dead or alive and calls in the Thunderbolts to protect him. But Matt Gargan, Venom, ignores Osborn and tells him his old host must be at feast, but Peter Parker is Spider-Man at Osborn Manor. Venom goes busting into the feast, calling out for Spider-Man. But then Venom sees that it was Brock, not Peter he was heading to, and Eddie starts freaking out. He is done with the symbiote. But something starts to happen to Brock, something forming onto him from the Venom symbiote touching him. And at the end, Eddie Brock transforms into Anti-Venom. This was a very enjoyable modern Spider-Man comic. The ending was the part with Anti-Venom, but his rest of the comic had moment after moment of enjoyment. My favorite had to be the relationship between Norman and Harry. Does Norman really dislike Harry, or is he more concerned about the Thunderbolts and Spider-Man during this issue? The way his fathering has deeply scarred Harry, and he may be going off the deep end soon is harsh. Martin Lee never became Mr. Negative here. Instead, he gave weird hints to Eddie Brock about his cancer disappearing and having a new life, specifically to sit back and enjoy the game. This isn't my favorite Venom design, although this isn't Eddie Brock Venom, this is Matt Gargan Venom, and he definitely is a lot skinnier and taller than the original one. He's really just used as a plot device here to get to anti-Venom. I give this issue a 9 out of 10. Thank you all for watching. Bye guys, and have a good St. Patrick's Day.